My name is Victor Manuel Aleman. Uh, the first time I came to Puerto Peñasco, it was around 1991. My plan was to come and stay for a day, and I stayed for a weekend for like three or four days, and uh, I came back in 1993. I stayed here for a year, and then 1994, I went to Santa Fe, New Mexico for a couple of years. Then I came back to, to Puerto Peñasco in 1996, and since then I've been around here. I think I, I am an artist who became a bi business owner. Uh, my main uh, idea in life has been art. You know, I've been doing art since I was uh, 13, 14 years old. What I, what I do enjoy more is uh, doing uh, paintings. Uh, lately, I've been doing um, a little bit of a sculpting, and and well, for the last uh, ten years, we've been doing some concrete, uh, concrete, concrete work, which that includes tables, pottery, fountains, and uh, you know different uh, ornaments. But everything is it has its own touch of art. It's not just one thing you buy everywhere, but we try to make them unique. 75 to 80 percent of our, uh, our our display we m make it here. That includes tables, benches, uh, patio sets, table with benches, and uh, we have uh, fountains. We have um, all kinds of a potter, uh, pottery, big pots for uh, you know different uses. We have uh, stepping stones. We have uh, ornamental things. We have benches on the figure of um, animals like horses, rabbits. Uh, we we produce a lot of metal, metal metal ornaments for uh, uh, wall decoration and and yards, you know, for outdoor. We produce everything here. You know, we cut the metal, we weld it, put it all together, and and paint it. We do a little bit of landscaping design, and we also help people to make the the, the best decision for their planting as uh, sometimes people they want to do a low maintenance uh, uh, landscaping so we can help people to choose the right plants for uh, we can even help them to uh, to have a, a, a water system irrigation you know like a drip system so they can uh, use less water uh, and another thing we, we have on our business we produce our own um, organic compost which it helps our, our soil down here in, in, in Puerto Peñasco because usually it's only caliche and, and sand. But if we add a little bit of organic, um, it, it will help a lot, you know. And the first thing it does, it makes plants more stronger, uh, more green, more flowers, but also it reduces the use of water about 40 to 60. 40 to 50 or 60 percent, depending what kind of plants you have. So that's big advantage of that too. Our business hours are eight to five, uh, Monday to Sunday. We work seven days a week. Uh, we are located uh, seven miles off of town, off of Puerto Peñasco, on the road uh, from Puerto Peñasco to Sonoita. We have three big uh, metal mariachis at front of our business. That's pretty much the, the, the trademark of our business, you know. I see a lot, I see a lot coming. I think uh, since I've been here in Puerto Peñasco, I've seen a lot of changes. Uh, this town is growing every day. Uh, sometimes the locals, we don't see it, but people who come once a year, they see the changes. Um, I think um, we need to get prepared for a big change in town. Uh, I think eventually if the home port um, ended up on a good way, you know, it's going to bring a, a lot more to this town. But I feel like uh, Puerto Peñasco is going in the right direction right now. We only need to work all together so we can make this happen. On the past, I have done a lot of uh, teaching to youngsters, to young people. I've been teaching them how to, to do art with the spray cans mostly, but I also been teaching them how to do uh, arts and crafts, uh, you know, with different materials. Uh, I think um, a lot of our kids, um, 
they don't have the opportunity to go to um, regular schools, but we should be teaching them other options, you know. Um, I know there is a lot of kids uh, with talent, but sometimes we don't give them the chance or the opportunity to, to, to do or express their talent. So uh, I always think if we teach other people, eventually things will change in life, especially now uh, on these days uh, when in Mexico you talk about crime everywhere. Well, I think crime uh, is related to uh, low uh, self-esteem. I think a lot of kids who they don't have a, a good education or good opportunities to make a living, well, they will, they will, they will, they're going to choose the wrong way and go to an easy life, which uh, is the wrong thing to do. Um, I'm always open to teach uh, people. You know, I always said I can only teach the basics, but it depends on people to make a thing happen. You know, we give them the tools and, and show them how to use it. People, they have to do their own and make, make that to, to succeed.